Hey guys, I'm Isaac from Super RV Australia and today I'll be talking to you about the mounting brackets that you get with your awning. Now, you'll find a little kit like this. You'll get all the required channel nuts, bolts, washers and nuts that you need. Now the type of setup that you want to do is with the bolt, go through the spring washer first, then the flat washer, through the extrusion and then into the channel nut. Just got a demo roof rack and what I'll tell you about is just how to prep this for the awning installation. Now you're going to open these end caps off and you'll see there's a rubber holding in there. What you're going to have to do is measure up with your awning mounting brackets and cut it down to size. Now this one's already been pre-cut so you can just slide this out and it's ready for the channel nuts. Now that you've got the channel free you can slide these guys in. Now what you want to do is arrange them at an angle and that way it can't turn when you go to tighten. What you want to do is adjust it to where the bracket finishes. So because this has an upright that extrudes out, what you want to do is about there. Now all you have to do is just tighten with a 13mm spanner. So now that you've hand tightened the nuts on the back, what you want to do is align it so the end of the extrusion is in line with the car. That'll allow it to wrap around and not get in the way of anything. So now it's time for the grease. What you want to do is when you go to tighten these, just apply a little bit of grease to the thread. And what that'll do is stop the stainless nut from binding to the stainless bolts. And that'll just ensure that you can get it on and off without it binding. Mill spanner and tighten away. Remember to tighten up all four bolts and just to ensure that nothing goes amiss when you're traveling.